A man in Iran, Amir Aslani, was just put to death for what may be the single dumbest reason in human history. The government was apparently after him for a while, and he had multiple run-ins with the authorities for years. They say he committed adultery. Did they present any evidence of that? Not that I saw. But at least one of the reasons why he was executed last week, he had his own interpretation of Islam in which he said the story of Jonah living inside of the big fish, he said it's symbolic. They put him to death for that. The government said, you can't say that, you're insulting Islam and, quote, spreading corruption on the earth. So you'll be put to death. If that's grounds for the death penalty in Iran, I would have been killed when I was 15, 16, probably younger. So just saying, he didn't even say the story is false. I would have said it's total bullshit, it's a fucking fairy tale right up there with Mother Goose. But he said, no, well, I believe in it, but I'm just saying it's anecdotal that they're telling a story here. It's symbolic, it's not literal. I mean, living in a fish. Come on, guys, are we, do we really believe that? Government flipped out. Yes, we believe it! Oh, you're threatening, you're threatening order. You're threatening the sanctity of Islam. Put you to death. You're gonna die now. Now, that's Iran. Saudi Arabia at the same time, as we've discussed before, they executed 19 people in just the month of August. It's over 30 people since January. You wanna know the reasons for those executions? Adultery. Smuggling hash. That's it. Okay, all my friends would be dead if these are the, <laughs> the, the criteria. Smuggling amphetamine pills. Now it's really interesting because you know what amphetamine pills are, right? They're likely just talking about Adderall. So what we take for ADHD in America, or for some uh, college kids to party and have a good time, death, death in Saudi Arabia. And also, my favorite, sorcery. They put people to death for witchcraft, sorcery, voodoo, ah! We live on a planet at the same time that savages still live on the planet. This primitive, barbaric mindset, okay? But look, what's the biggest point to take away from this? In my opinion, there's never been a better story as to why we should stay out of the Middle East and stay out of the thing with ISIS. Because, understand, we go after ISIS and we defeat them, then what? Then what? What happens? Well, guess who is the mortal enemy of ISIS? The government of Iran. Now, are they slightly less bad? Yes, they actually are slightly less bad than ISIS. I mean, to be honest. But that's like saying who's the tallest kid in kindergarten because the government of Iran, in terms of their social policy, oh, fucking forget it, man. Beheading people for not believing in stupid stories? Are you fucking crazy? See, that's the thing. You're picking sides between sides that all suck. Either you go with the... The Saudi regime, the Sunni extremists who behead people more than ISIS, okay, and they're brutally repressive, women can't drive, they have no rights. The most insanely repressive Sharia society ever, they want it, they kill atheists, gay people, you name it, okay. Either you side with them and fight ISIS, or you side with Iran and fight ISIS, so you side with the Shiites to fight ISIS, or what, you side with ISIS? Why not? Look, they're gonna duke it out. The Sunnis and Shiites, they've been fighting for centuries. They're going to duke it out no matter what the United States of America does. Why not rip off the mandate quick and get the fuck out of there? And understand, are there certain things we could do to fix this situation faster? I think yes. If you break up Iraq and you give the Sunnis their area, the Shiites their area, the Kurds their area, then I think the Sunni Baathists, who are more secular Sunnis, will turn on ISIS, the Sunni extremists, the jihadists, okay? So I do think there are strategic political things you could do to help fix the region and quell the rise of the most extremist factions, but to go in there and pick sides and to actually fight, why are we picking between somebody that beheads people and other people that fucking behead people? It doesn't make any sense.